Thanks, guys. Good to see you here. We'll get started with the questions now. Thanks all for coming. There's no more time. You're going to let him go for today. Our camera lens trained on one man. The breaking story is he'll retire at the end of the season. How about his role today? Stay with us. And hello from East Anglia. This is the scene here at Carrow Road. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Norwich City, and they take on Coventry City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And a look at the starting 11 for Norwich. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4-5-1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. Thank you, Carol Rose. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Ben Sheath. Kane. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Useful looking position, you've got to say. He's got acres of space. Still possibilities. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, as you can see, his form in front of goal has been superb. He just has that knack of finding space in the box, and then, of course, he's a brilliant finisher. I'm sure he'll show us that again today. And the keeper had the measure of it. Short corner it is. Really vital interception here. Must take the lead here. Mm. 
Well, the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Marin. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Well, it's fair to say he's been across all the back pages and the focus of social media as well leading into this game. The rumours have been confirmed. He has elected to end his illustrious career at the end of this campaign. A massive loss for the club, Stuart. Well, it's a great shame because he's been a joy to watch over the years. But he's certainly going out at the top, which I think is a really good decision, Derek. Right. Can he give them the lead? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And short it is. Can he finish this? In it goes! The opening goal in this contest! Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alex. Just to confirm, Middlesbrough have scored in that match. And they now hold a 1-0 lead. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Bali Mumba. Gibbs plenty of options and collected tidily he had plenty to think about there's a slide rule pass well deemed to be offside by the merest of margins well it's very close to being the perfectly timed run but whether it's an inch or a yard he's still offside Yanulis could cross it in here. In search of space. Well, nicely cut out. And goal news to bring you from the Queen's Park Rangers game. Alex Scott. It's a goal for QPR. It's now one in. 31 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. This corner could be useful to them. And now the delivery. Oh, a splendid header, but a fine save. Corner once more. Playing it in. Not a bit short with the clearance. 
Kind of a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bournemouth. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 35 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. So approaching half-time and the visitors have a bit of work ahead of them. Stuart, your assessment. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attack. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. In it goes! Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Two-nil here, and the ball is moving again. Lane. It's with Motiba. Clean challenge. Well, I'm hearing the referee has pointed to the penalty spot in one of the other games. Let's hear more about it from Alex. Well, it's Bournemouth that were awarded the penalty, and he got the technique all wrong with that one. He shot it well wide. The score is still 1 0 with under five minutes left to play till half time. Alex, thank you very much. Well, as those stats tell us, Norwich have controlled much of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Yes, it might be on for them once more. Just wanted to get it out of there. Cuajeta. Well, not the pass he had in mind. So that will do it for the first half. And the visitors know they're going to have to up their game in the second, Stuart. Well, you can score all the goals you want. But if you don't defend well as a team, you're going to struggle. And that's been the case today. They've got to get the balance right between defence and attack, starting in the second 45. And so the match is underway. And the keeper had the measure of it. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. But a fine save. Corner once more. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. So back underway here into the second half.
Okay, I understand changing circumstances in the Blackburn game. Alex Scott, who has scored? It's a goal for Southampton. The defender was caught in possession just before the goal. He won't want to be watching that back. They're ahead by two now with 47 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. To be replaced by number 16, Andre Dazel. Dowell. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Breaking at pace. They might be able to get in now. Well, this would help them get back into the game. A goal as they cut into their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Well, something has happened in the Preston game. Let's find out what. Here's Alex. It's a second goal for Hull City. They're back in this now with 53 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. He must finish. In it goes. But wait a minute. That will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fat. Well, I think it's a good move for him. He has great ability, but needs to be that little bit more consistent. I'd say it's a fair price as well. Gibbs now. Chance to do damage. He's in here. And a goal! They've increased the lead. And they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever backhill, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Ben Sheaf. Marin. Well, it's one pass after another. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. He's using his strength to good effect. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Could pull one back here. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And changing circumstances, I'm hearing, in the Middlesbrough match. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a second goal for Sheffield United. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 65 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. 
Well, this is the home of live football, and we'll have live coverage of the FA Cup for you. It's Norwich City taking on Hull City. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition, and so do I. Oh, Stuart, they must score! And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. But a goal has gone in at the Riverside, so let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. They're now behind by one with 72 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. Gibbs now has the strength to hang on to it. Oh, a vital interception. It's Marine. This might be ideal for the counter. All hands on deck. Oh, a fine block. Throw ins given. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Plenty of support here. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Lane. Moncini. Oh, nice ball. Can he finish here? And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So the current scoreline, 4-2. The frills and spills of championship action. Join us for this one live on EA TV. It's Coventry City taking on Watford. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Shielding the ball superbly. And you don't want to lose possession there. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for it. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish.
minutes. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Moncini. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Guajeta. Yanulis. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Marin. And Madja on the ball. And intercepted it. And now passing it through. Ben Sheaf. It's an opportunity. And he clears it out of harm's way. And that will be all for this game. Defeat for the visitors, that's the big story. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. And so the match is underway. And the keeper had the measure of it. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. But a fine save. Corner once more. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. of life in this match he must finish in it goes but wait a minute that will not count well that was tough Gibbs now he's in here and a goal They've increased their lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders on it. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been... Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick! A special moment for him! We've got some questions for you.
further questions, thank you. Our camera's on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Coventry City up against Watford. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And the starting 11 for Watford. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Lebo Motiba. Ben Sheaf. Oh, showing excellent vision. Well, the power was there. Not really the placement, however. Goal kick. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. Stuart, what should we be looking for from him today? Well, I'd be looking at his positional play today. Is he going to make the right decisions when to tuck in, when to get tight to his winger, and when to pass players on? If he gets those right, he'll have a good game, because on the ball, he's an excellent talent. Fode Balo Touré. Getting forward. Will it be? Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Superb effort to keep it in. Fine cross into the middle, and the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Corner kick played in. Plattered away. Right, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the whole game, and Alex can tell us all about it. Yep, it's a goal for Hull City. No one was marking him. He had too much time, and it was a simple finish in the end. They've scored the opener here with 10 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. He has time to play it over. Determined block. A really effective shielding under pressure. Ben Sheaf. A 
and scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Lane. Mangash. He has teammates around him. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Ken Sima. OK, Alex Scott, you have a goal to tell us about at Bramall Lane. Yep, it's a goal for Sheffield United. It's now 1-0 with 18 minutes on the clock. Thank you, Alex. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Lane. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. And the problem not completely solved. Has a go! Oh, a smart stop. And over comes the corner. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Has the strength to hang on to it. But he could really get at the opposition. Magnificent challenge to win it back. This is a message for Mo Ali. Mo Ali, can you please meet Jennifer Bazet at the ticket office? Over the touchline for a throw in. Will he play it in? Big chance! And a really good diving stop. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And he's fired over the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. And that is how to block. Pusetto. Pusetto. it a go and not cleared away properly and well, they can keep possession now and a goal kick given and the news confirmed before the game Manchester City have finally got their man Stuart well at around 140 million pounds he might prove to be a snip because he just keeps getting better and he's got everything you want from a top class player he'll be a great signing Seymour. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Levo Motiba. Ricardo Mangish. A oh, terrific pass. Splendid defending. Oh. 
Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. And he read it well defensively. Aspria. Processo. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Superbly read and executed. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Can they hit on the break? And he read it superbly. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And so the battle commences. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Lane. Has a go! Oh, a smart stop. And a really good diving stop. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take... Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Passes like that, very much in his repertoire. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? This looks threatening. That's part of his game, holding the ball up. And what must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Coventry City facing Cardiff City. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ben Sheath. Well, the situation has changed in the Sheffield United game. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a goal for Reading. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 57 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date.
Good technique displayed. And players waiting in the centre. He takes aim. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Just looking ahead to another game coming up for you from the Championship, live on EA TV. It's Watford facing Swansea City. Ben Sheaf. Josh Tymon. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Able to deal with the threat. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Defenders need to cover. And for a counter to succeed, it has to happen at lightning pace. It didn't. There to take it away. Fode Balo Touré. Samuel Adek Benro. Can they square the game? And saved by the keeper. And the substitution will occur now. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? And he's fired over the corner. And well, the keeper takes the ball, but the main thing is he held on to it. And possession given away. Promising attack, this. Well, disappointing end to the move. Right, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Hull game, and Alex can tell us all about it. Yep. Second one for Hull City. They're ahead by two now with 74 minutes playing. Alex, thank you very much. Oh, mopping up defensively. An example of how to press. Well, on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, their attacking play has been too slow. It's lacked penetration and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Ten minutes to go then. Kipre. Lane. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Trost Ekong. A decisive clearance it was. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches, and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yeah, it was a penalty for Oh, West jumping Brown. in. They're in a great position here. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Fode Balo Touré. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. 
So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Counter attacking, very much an option. And possibilities inside the box. The chance is on. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated, and goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one. And they kick off here. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Lane. And a really good diving stop. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take... This looks threatening. That's part of his game, holding the ball up. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. And saved by the keeper. And the substitution will occur now. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point. Time for a quick question. Thank you, that's all the questions we have for you.